All right, so my last tip is to add a follow-up to a message. So let's pretend similar to saving a message, but you might want to go, oh, golly, if I save those messages, like Sam said, out of mind, out of sight, uh, you may actually forget that it's there. So let's pretend I've got one in here somewhere from Sam. That's good. Are you there? That's lovely. And I want to follow up on this me message, but I don't want to do it now, and I want to kind of do it tomorrow morning so I can actually do that. So I can come to these three dots, whoops, up the top here, and I can go more actions. And there's some more actions over here. I can schedule a task, I can create a new poll, I can schedule a reply, or I can create a new action. So I'm going to go and go to my little see more first, and then it's going to create an action for me. If I go see more, there's these ones. There. It's not exactly what I want. So I'm going to come to here and go create new action. It's going to open up this window here. And there's all these things I can do. Now, inside here, I want to be able to do this one, schedule a reply. It's going to be an instant reply. But look at all these other things I can do. I can save a message to OneNote. I can schedule a meeting out of that. I can actually create a planner task for it. And believe it or not, there's a whole stack of other ones under here that you can do automatically from there as well. If you work with Asana, you can create a Asana task straight from a message. Stacks of gear. And this is all powered by, remember before I said Power Automate is really cool. It's there. So that's what's making this run. Anyway, so I'm going to schedule a reply. Now, I deliberately haven't actually put this into the account. So you can have a look at the process you need to do to make sure it runs in your space. So if I go schedule a reply, that's cool. I'm going to go into Microsoft Teams. If it hasn't been um, approved, this will have a, um, a exclamation mark next to it. And when you click on it, it'll say, oh, OK. Is it going to be in this account? And you go, yes. And that's all it gives us permission to be able to do it. Um, unfortunately, it's already got this for me. So I then go add that workflow. It's still going to go now going to add it to my little list. And it'll take a couple of seconds there. Yay. I can run that flow. Lovely. Beautiful. So now in here, I can come up to here and go more actions. I can see more in here. And I'm going to go in here and go, um, oh, it's not there. It hasn't appeared. Ah, oh, fail. Come on. I'm not scheduled a reply. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you did the wrong thing. I was yeah. going to interrupt, but then I, I think you were doing follow up. I was. I think <laughs> it's okay. Good. We'll continue. Yeah. You quick, just did quick. the wrong one. Two seconds. Two seconds. Follow up on a message. There we go. Lovely. See, I've given up permission in here. I've also give, got to give up permission in there. So I just click on that and it will say, Do you want to give me permission? Phew. Pick the account that you're in, tick any boo, it'll go bing with a tick next to it. I can add it to my workflow, fuel. Now that'll come in there. It'll look even better than it did before. Da -da -da. There we go. Lovely. Cool. So I can now come to my three dots over here, come to my more actions, see more in here, and I'm going to go, oh, it's not even. It's, Takes a couple of seconds to come through, but trust me, it'll appear there. And then what happens is it'll pop back up into your to-do list when it's ready to go. Anyway, uh, trust me, it's terrific. It pulls it away and then pops it back into your line of sight when you need to see it the next day, which is really handy.